Now let's talk about the views in Barba, what they are and how how are they useful. At the moment, all our transitions happen on every page that matches the criteria, the rules. But what if we want to execute some code, piece of code, enable a plugin, initiate some piece of your other JavaScript functions only on one page? Okay, for that, views is the way to go. Let's say in our case, what if we wanted to execute a function just on the architecture page and not any other page? Exactly for that, we can use a view. So let's go back and instead of transitions, just above it, we will specify the views array in the same way as we're doing the transitions. But inside of the object, we need to specify the namespace that needs to match one of our pages. So let's say if we want to refer to the architecture page, we need to refer to the architecture namespace. And this view, this piece of code will only happen on the architecture page. And we can use the same hooks as inside of the transitions. So let's say before enter, before this page enters, we will want to execute or just console log for now before enter architecture. Okay, so here we are running a piece of code that will only happen on the architecture page. And of course we have access to the data as well about the container and the trigger before enter. Here it is, save it. And when we go back, we don't see any console logs. If we go to the detail page, no console logs. But if I go back to the architecture, we'll see console logs happening. Okay, here is the data being passed into and here is the console log. So the views are handy for enabling plugins, destroying even listeners, anything that you want to do before or after the transition that is specific to one page. You can just specify the view or array of views for some of your pages connect it to your HTML container, referring to the namespace, and then using the hooks and running your functions inside of them.